and a man who loved God all the way to heaven. Now, though our hearts are grieved and it's important that we can, we can grieve, but we are rest assured and comforted that our father, our grandfather, an uncle, a brother, a general, a friend, a husband, and a colleague, Senior Special Apostle Prophet Dr. Sunday Funshio Korode, we know that he's basking in the glory of the living God. Now the service will begin very, very shortly. And all we want is, first of all, before we do anything, I'm going to implore you and I'm going to ask you if we can please occupy the seats that are not assigned to special seating. So if you're seating further back, can you please just come forward, apart from women who feel that they want to breastfeed their children? Okay? Now we believe by God's grace that there are four things that we want to talk to you about. So a little bit of housekeeping. We don't expect any form of fire, but just in case there's any fire, which we don't expect, we have all the exit signs that will tell you where to go. Please, we will help you marshal you all the way out of the building to the assembly point. Let's please take note of that. Secondly, for the toilets, for both male and female, we have them to the left-hand side of the auditorium. Through the set of double doors, you turn to your left, and you find both male and female there. I think that's very important for us to know. Thirdly, which is also important, I believe that every single person wants to participate and to bring honor to the day. I'm going to ask you, if you do have your phones, please, this is the time for you to either put it on silent or actually turn it off or vibrate. And I'll give you time to do that. Also, we talked about the, the car park. It's outside to the back of the auditorium to, your, to my right when you move out. Lastly, but very crucial, and I think this is very, very important, and I need to stress this out. We believe that there is order in heaven, and because there's order in heaven, there should be order here on earth. The building management team have told us that there is a time constraint. Once the time is up, they are going to turn the lights off and get everybody out of the building. So we need to be on time. I will have to respectfully ask all of us to please let's keep to time. Now with that being said, we have a strict time frame. Those who have been given things to do, be it the reading, the tributes, the, you know, the, the worship, the lead, anything that you've been given to do, please, if you've been given two minutes, your two minutes is two minutes. There'll be a countdown. I respectfully say that to our uncles, to our aunties, to our granddads, to our grandmas. Please, let's keep to time. This is the last bit. And this doesn't come from me. It comes from the planning committee. Please, I ask everybody respectfully, don't come to me or to Prophet Gabriel and say, I know Prophet Corridor. I want to talk. That will not fly. We will not allow that to happen. If you want to be part of the proceedings to speak, please see the planning committee. Hopefully, they'll be able to accommodate you. So once again, I want to say thank you so much for braving the very cold weather, which is minus one right now outside. I want to say, let's with a happy heart, let's rejoice today. Even though our hearts are sad, we know that our Father in Christ the General is glorifying God right now in heaven. So I'm going to hand it over now to the choir. Thank you.
the top of the tomb with six ways. With two, they cover their eyes. With two, they cover their feet. And with two, they cover... They were flying. And each one of them were crying to each other, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God Almighty. Everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, we need your presence here tonight. We need the presence of the Holy Spirit, the author of life. Let it please you, Father, to rest upon every soul. Let all our activities come into divine alignment with your will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are praying that you take preeminence of this meeting and rest upon every soul, everyone that will minister the word or the song. Father, inspire them and let them succeed in their ministrations. In the name of Jesus. And as we commit everything into your hand, take absolute preeminence as we declare this meeting opens in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' wonderful names we pray. Praise God. Praise God. We may be seated. The conference of the Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church worldwide. Stakeholder churches. District chairmen. Church leaders, senior pastors and other ministers of the gospel here present and online. Co-workers in the vineyard. Beloved in Christ. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is a great pleasure and privilege to stand here on behalf of the Corridor family, the various stakeholder churches and individuals who have contributed to this celebration, and the UK celebration of an icon planning committee to welcome you to this event. We are here this evening to celebrate our late husband, father, grandfather, brother, uncle, friend, church leader, district chairman, spiritual father, professional colleague, mentor, and a lot more. Senior Special Apostle Prophet Dr. Sunday Funsho Korode, who transited from this world on Sunday 26 November 2023. We are here to celebrate the late general leader and district chairman of Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church, Surulere District. We are here to celebrate a man of God who over the course of time of more than 50 years left his imprints on the sands at Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church, Surulere. We are here to celebrate a man of God who was devoted to the growth of God's kingdom. We are here to celebrate a gifted prophet used mightily by God. We are here to celebrate a man who touched and impacted many lives through his exemplary and disciplined life. His words of wisdom, his divinely led ministrations, his heavenly inspired musical compositions, and his power-packed teachings and sermons. We are here to celebrate a man whose sermons and teachings were not complete without use, without unique use of English grammar or literature, even when preaching in Yoruba. We are here to celebrate a man who spoke truth to power, fearlessly, but with great humility. We are here to celebrate a man who on at least two occasions had the opportunity to arrogate the flock of Christ to himself and start a church in the United Kingdom, but was contented with evangelizing without expecting a reward on earth. We are here to celebrate a man whose vision was for as many to make heaven using the Bible as a road map. We are here to celebrate a man whose outlook for the church was Pentecostal in dispensation 
and evangelical in ministry. We are here to celebrate a man who was Christ-centered and Christ-centric in practice and frowned against all forms of ritualistic expression and antichrist practices. We are here to celebrate a man who stood tall, who stood strong, and who stood firm in the face of adversity. We are here to celebrate a man worthy of emulation on many fronts. We are here to celebrate a man who meant something positive to many. We are here to celebrate an icon, Prophet Sunday Funsho Korode. As we all join in this celebration of Prophet Sunday Funsho Korode, whether in person in this hall or virtually through the various online platforms, let us take the opportunity to reflect on the life we live. Is it a life in which people will be eager to celebrate you? Or is, it, or is it a life in which people will shout on the mountain tops, good riddance to bad rubbish? Once again, thank you so much for joining in this celebration of the life of Prophet S.F. Korode. May God continue to bless and keep you and all yours. Thank you so much. of your name. 
the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, mighty God, mighty God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Hallelujah, ah, see you. You are the mighty God. The great I am, Alleluia, Alleluia, Marika, Alleluia, Alleluia. He told me we pay Alleluia. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Ninwe wukoko. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Don't repay only what love called me, but a body gets to
You are muted, please, man. Can you unmute yourself? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, um, we would have the renditions. We can't hear him. We can't hear him yet. Can we have a few minutes? My mouth already. We hear a ye, a long one, Baba Wapi, and look for more. I share your loba, or bully your car, and want to come off. I want to get a young Baba Wallow. A cocoa top you want, oh, you want. A cocoa top that, but oh, you want. A cocoa tire, cock on you, I am one, oh, you want, long. Yell at him more, for what, for a quarter of a day or four.
Bible reading for today, celebration of life service, will be taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 11. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 to 11. I read, for everything there is a season. A time for every activities under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to harvest. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to cry and a time to laugh. A time to grieve and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace, and a time to turn away, a time to search, and a time to quit searching, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to mend, a time to be quiet, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. What do people really get for all their hard work? I have seen the burden God has placed on us all. Leaven the stopping verse. Yet, God has made everything beautiful for his own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to the end. This is the word of the Lord.
biography. Now, on behalf of the young adults in the cherubim and seraphim movement in churches worldwide, um, on behalf of the adults um, that our father has influenced and has had immense, amazing impact in the lives of. We would like to say thank you and a massive God bless you to our Father and the Lord who has been called to glory um, in Christ Jesus. And this is our Father's senior special apostle, prophet, Dr. S.F. Korode. Um, we thank God for his life, um, the amount of impact he's had through his ministry, his teaching of the word, um, his passion for sharing the gospel, evangelism, from his young age in the choir, into teaching of the word, into prayer sessions. And there's one word um, that I will use, and that's his passion for Christ, and his uh, zeal for God, and his knowledge is contagious. If you are around him long enough, you catch it. And sir, many of us, we caught it. <laughs> and by God's grace and his power, um, we'll carry on the good works that you have done by his grace and power. And by the grace of God, uh, we will see again in the kingdom of God. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Amen. She came to say hello to us in our house, but I want young ones to listen to this. As many other young girls in that day, and she didn't spend five minutes, she left. Many are been in our house, they will not go back home on time. So as I was escorting her, my grandma was watching. And as I was returning, and grandma now said, Oh, no, 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 all those people coming to see you, they saw me here washing my clothes. She was the only one who waited and took their clothes and washed. And when she finished, she just came and spent such a short time. Now, praise the Lord. I needed no other, you know, evidence. And that's how the Lord chose her. Apart from every other thing that has happened in that too. This man is a man of God. He's a family man. Honest. Kind. He can give you his eyes. This is the question you should ask yourself. Why do bad things happen to good people? Why does God not have a meaning to do this? World? Because up to tomorrow is still a mystery. And we decide that a man of God should have no problem. He should not have any trouble or tribulation. That is why we all. Why me? The Lord said he knows about it. Nothing can happen to you without the knowledge of God. And it doesn't matter where they are coming from. The Lord, your Lord is powerful. He knows tomorrow from today. Everlasting is in his power. No matter how hard it is for you, before you get to where you are, the Lord knows about it. And this is what should give you the assurance. 
that everybody around you might Papa not know. Mama, yale, mama. Your father and your mother might not know. Oh, yale, mama, but you your friend 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 might not know, no matter how you know, you know. But the Lord knows about it. There is no space for sorrow. There is no room for you to feel bad about life. Your thoughts, your perspective, your values are truly ascendant because they are rooted in God and God is directing you. And you are moving as it were from glory to glory. And therefore, there is no room for you for one day to feel down. Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 says rejoice. And I say you should rejoice. And he went further to now say, have this perseverance, endurance in you, because the Lord your God is near. Until you have an opportunity to brace what we call the rope at the end of the athletics race, you don't ever fall. Keep right on standing. I own you. Thank you very much. We've just um, had words on the marble by our father, Prophet S.F. Corody. Now we'll be taking tributes, and uh, we want to please beg us to adhere strictly to the time. Um, while I want to invite our father, the first person to take the tribute, I remember April 2016, I had a meeting with uh, Prophet uh, Corody in Lagos. And this is something he said to me that I would hold dearly forever. During the meeting, the meeting lasted for about four hours. And then the fourth hour into the meeting, he looked into my dad's eye and said, whose son is this? And my dad said, it's my son. And he said to me, he said, um, you see, in life, son, when people blackmail you, God will whitemail you. And I held on to that word. And um, I would never forget that in life. On this note, I want to invite our father, Special Apostle Francis Abati, the district chairman, CNS Movement Church, UK District Headquarters, Parkland, London. my mothers and fathers in the Lord. My name is Pastor Francis Abati, known as Baba Abati. From the United Kingdom District, Parkland, London. Thank you immensely for giving me the opportunity and privilege to pay tribute to our late father, senior special apostle prophet, Sunday Funshokorode, a person who has touched so many lives with his kindness, generosity, wisdom, counseling, and evangelical ministration. A man of God with passion for souls and who often goes beyond his daily duty to, of care for those needing spiritual guidance. Holy Kordi, as fondly called, was the pioneer, founder of many children and serving movement church in the United Kingdom in the early 80s. The House of Prayer Gathering of Sons and Daughters of CNS Missouri and a few other groups 
metamorphosed into a full rooted spiritual filled branch church in London in 1984. He worked on for the development and establishment of more churches across Britain. A humble servant of God that devoted his life for the salvation of human souls and forgotten of world mortality. For those who are intimate with our late father, we agree that his approach to issues was that of father and a leader. Treating all with humility and respect. Irrespective of age or position in life. A replica of our Lord Jesus Christ. General leader, our chairman, was a true inspiration to all who knew him. He was willing to lend a helping hand offer words of encouragement, set the pace, and share his knowledge with others. A visionary and exemplary all-round forward thinker. His unwavering commitment to making children and serving church, and indeed the world a better place will never be forgotten. General Choir Master, we we'll always be remembered as a shining example of what it means to be a good person, a soldier of Christ who lives from front. It was indeed an amazing leader who led flocks righteously and prevented us from deviating from the earthly things. Above all, our let Father Corrode detest hypocrisy and deceit. The entire Shubri Asravin child miss him, a great teacher. We pray to God to give the church of God the fortitude to bear this great loss. Rest in peace, prophet of the Most High. He came on Sunday, he conquered and fought to the end on Sunday. Sleep until we meet again in the foot of our Savior. Good night. Thank you, sir. Sunday. Now we're going to have our father, special apostle, prophet, professor Isaac. Ojutalayo of All Nations Bible College. Uh, thank you very much. It is a great privilege and honor to just say a word or two regarding our Father and the Lord Korode. Uh, when I completed my theological education, I myself and Dr. Fasole went to Baba Bidoye. And I just asked Baba Bidu that I need someone to work with in respect of a Cherubim and Seraphim's uh, epistemology. And straight away he said, I will recommend Alagba Korode. And the rest was history. I got to know Alagba Korode for seven years. And one thing I observed about him is that uh, what you see is what you get. For me, as an individual, I always ask him thought-provoking questions. And he does say to me, oh, Alagbatoyi, Alagbatoyi all the time. Oh, these are the reasons why I have taken these steps. And even his own personal issue. I've never met Femi before. I don't even know who Femi is. And he will tell me, you know Alagbatoyi, surely Femi, Nibabai, Nibabai, bye, bye. I don't want to go into details, but it's something to do with training and spiritual development. But what I want to say, people of God, to you and I is, is death is so sudden. How will you live your life? How will you be remembered? 
the United Nations today does not see a 70 year old as an old age anymore because the standard of living has increased. But one thing again is God can cut us time short on earth. So how will you be remembered? So the legacy is left behind. We need to follow suit. May the soul of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we have our mother, special mother, prophetess Lara Oyoyemi? Zoom, please. While we're waiting for a, a technical unit, um, second nugget I'd like to share was um, also during the meeting how he told us of how you don't uh, try to fight a battle that belongs to the Lord and how um, he was um, suspended as a choir master general of the church at one time and it was still the same Lord that ministered unto the SWL general leader right in the church I said you know what that suspension is wrong and he said to us that uh, if he had fought that battle himself he would have lost that man is indeed an enigma when he speaks the voice sounds with authority we can hear from even the clips we had just uh, shown quite a uh, minute ago that indeed is a true prophet of God we pray that the Lord will give us more of him in CNS and that that light will continue to shine in the name of Jesus amen Technical, are you ready for us? Special Mother Prophetess Lara Oyoyemi. Let Special Apostle Prophet SS Kolari get set after her. And uh, the representative of Sanders Church, Thank you. The beginning, this special honor to give tribute on behalf of our general leader, Dr. Tondi Fushok Karodi. As we mourn the loss of a remarkable Christian leader, Dr. Sundar Sundar Korodi, we have comfort in the fact that his life was the testament to the power of faith and love of God. His unwavering commitment to serving others, his profound wisdom, and his unshakable belief in the teaching of Christ touched countless lives. His legacy is one of compassion, selflessness, and spiritual guardians, and he will be remembered a pattern of life in the Christian community. As he passes on to glory, we celebrate his life and the positive impact he made on the world. His teachings, actions inspired many to walk in the path of righteousness and to strive for a better world. His memory will be continue to, to inspire us. It's reminding us of the power of faith, the importance of service, and the transformative power of love. Rest in peace, dear general leader. Your life was a blessing, your memory a treasure. You are loved beyond words and means beyond nature. So dead, your voice is on. Rest on in glory. Amen. 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 One of us. Uh, I thank the organizer of this uh, uh, today. May the Lord continue to be with you all. Uh, can I say again, if I said what I should have said, now, but uh, the little I'm going to say that uh, I usually call him Alagba. Alagba Korode was, uh, you know, who joined the Shurulere uh, Church in 1971. And then when we were deciding post, and then, uh, you know, as a good chorister, a singer, a drummer, and everything, we gave him uh, the lead, to lead uh, the chorister. And since then, we know that uh, 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 the, uh, the songs 
composed by him, made uh, his rule to be on top. He was a good teacher, an evangelist, the one who pro, uh, pro, uh, promote the uh, the Lady and let the Suru Lady be number one in, uh, in in Lagos. When people continue to argue, we know that all right, uh, Alagba Koro Day is one for us, and people emulate emulated emulating, and he was the one that uh, we ourselves, when he's preaching, you take note of it. Because the one that uh, uh, made me to think well is when he was thinking, he was uh, preaching about the kingdom of God. That when you are going, when, he, uh, when after you, what will people say after you? Because the University of Lagos low attend. So, but during the time, Kofi he just rule the city. Go go a koto kwa, go go a koto kwa ondo.
Sunday, Funsho Korode, Senior Special Apostle Prophet Dr. Sunday Funsho Korode was born on September 22, 1950 in Omuaro, Kwaras. Kwara State to Christian parents Baba Joshua Olawi Korode and Madam Dorcas Adenio Korode. He started his early education at Sudan Interior Mission SIM Equa Primary School in Omwaro and later attended Baptist Primary School Zaria. In 1963, he was enrolled at the Provincial Secondary School PSS Ilori now Government College Ilori. After five years at the PSS, he worked briefly at Barclays Bank, now Union Bank, before admission into Offa Grammar School for his higher secondary school education. In 1970, he gained admission into the University of Lagos to study business administration, and it was shortly after this that he got involved in the pre-start activities of the Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church, Suliri, which did not officially start until 1973. As one of the first set of graduates to partake in Nigeria's newly established National Youth Service Corps NYSC program, he was posted to Port Harcourt to perform the mandatory one-year service to the country. After completing the NYSC program, Prophet Korode eventually returned to Lagos and got a job as an accounts officer at the United Bank for Africa, UBA, where he rose to the position of Deputy Assistant General Manager in the Manpower Development Division. He later worked briefly with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, as a management development consultant. Subsequently, he was appointed as a council member of the Lagos State Public Service Staff Development Center. He then moved to the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management, CIPM, and was the Chief Executive Officer, CEO, and Registrar of the Institute for 12 years. He left the CIPM to start his own management training consultancy, Grace Springs Academy, before joining Industrial and General Insurance, IGI PLC, as the Group Head of Human Resources, a position he held for five years before his retirement from active circular work in 2013. He married his sweetheart, Munisola, in 1974, and they were blessed over the years with children and grandchildren. As the Choir Master General of the Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church, Suriliri, and worldwide for 43 years, Prophet Korode is credited with exceptional leadership and with steering the choir to great achievements in musical evangelism, 
through the rendition and production of classic and evergreen songs that have been critically acclaimed worldwide and remain in rotation with active listenership to date. As a prophet of God, he contributed immensely to the legacy of the prophetic ministry within the Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church that spans decades. He was a catalyst for the growth of the church's prophetic subunit, the Daniel Band, and he performed oversight functions for the unit while edifying the church and her members through prophetic utterances. In 2015, by what can be described as divine design, from his position as number 18 in the church hierarchy, he moved up to number one to become the general leader and chairman of the entire Suriliri district of the Cherubim and Seraphim Movement Church worldwide, Ionio, a position he held until his call to glory on Sunday, November 26, 2023. He is survived by his loving and diligent wife, special mother in Israel, Margaret Munisola Korode, his biological children, Olua Femi Joshua Korode, Olua Shegun Joseph Korode, Olua Shion Rosemary Shonde, Temitokpe Joshua Korode, Olumayawa Samuel Korode, and Olua Damilola Grace Korode, numerous grandchildren, brothers, and sisters. Beyond this, he is also survived by numerous spiritual children, friends, and co-workers in the Lord's vineyard. May his gentle and humble soul rest in the Lord's bosom. Amen. Um, now we're going to take the second part of tributes. And um, you agree with me that the church of the 21st century is um, most, uh, um, how will I put it, we are grateful to God to have a prophet, um, S.F. Corrody. You agree with me that he can stand anywhere to speak in the prophetic, when it comes to education, when it comes to knowledge, when it comes to word of wisdom. I mean, you are going to wonder that, um, is this a CNS that he once relegated? When you see the general that speaking, maybe on TVC, and then you say, come on, that's my church. You have to tune in because uh, it's no longer the stories of how they took uh, battles in uh, some years back. It's now scripture and scripture alone. Indeed, we lost Iria Jem. Brethren all over the world, permit me to please invite with due honor Mr. Shegun Korodi, the son, to give a tribute to his father. Um, um, good evening, everyone. Um, it is an honor to be here. Um, we are here on behalf of the entire um, Korode family um, all over the world. Um, my siblings, um, our mom, and um, everybody that um, God has blessed our father with to be part of the family. Um, this is a short tribute. Um, it's, it's a difficult one because you can never get the words to to say everything. And um, he was the man that gave us life first, then he gave us love almost all through his life. Um, and one of the things that we keep on talking about amongst ourselves is how he had the strength and the energy to mean so much to so many people outside and at the same time, we did not feel his absence in the home from when we were little till he carried us. He carried, he carried us. When I say he carried us, as in when you know that this person is always there, 
regardless of every other thing that is balancing, he would always come back home and you will feel him at home. He was a simple man. Um, he had very, very simple needs. One of the major stories I, I remember that was a milestone in my life was when um, his job came to an end at UBA and um, we went to open the gate for him. And when he, when he drove in, we saw all the books and everything. So he came up, he said, he called everybody and he said, um, um, I can't remember the particular words, but something like, Ishet Tonle Neo. And you'd expect that for, and I think it was towards the end of the year then, you'd expect that for somebody to Ishet Ton, you think ah, there's, there's going to be a problem. And he asked for food. He asked, I think even, I, I can't remember, there was maybe, there was even a bottle of shrimps or Fanta or something. And why that is important for me is that the way he took it made it easy on us. He didn't fret. He didn't panic. He, 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 there was no, I was like, if this man is not bothered, go see what Allah. And what followed after that, I remember going back to school, that particular period, the pocket money that he gave us, that gave me that time, was like times three of the previous years. So I was now wondering, she could cook better key. Because it, it was, and, and that represented his personality and is also what pushed me that no matter what happens, if this man is not bothered, I can't be bothered. Um, one last story before I go. Um, there was a time, uh, in complexion, I'm like the black sheep of the family and uh, in addition to other things. And um, when my brother wrote his waek, um, he was a scholar. I think he had six A's or seven A's. So it was my turn. And at that time, that, that, during that period, we used to check the results through somebody that worked in Waek. So the madam that checked for my brother, when they told her that my result was next to be checked, she was happy because the first person she checked for, Omowe, and it was a thing of pride to her and her colleagues that, if I'm result, you, and it was a star. So it was my turn. So she was expecting that it is part two of the, the first part. Unfortunately, um, I had other ideas and um, the result didn't go as, as, and I remember the words she, she told me then. She was like, I'm bullet, where are you? Because, and when I got home, I was expecting that because in my family, it's, it's a family of excellence. Daddy was excellent, back to back to back, intelligent, articulate. I don't need to say all of that. My mom was a teacher, chemistry teacher, not, not any subject. So, expectedly, all of us were supposed to be like that. So, I said, I was, I was downcast because I, I, I was afraid of what he would say. If I sat down in, in the kitchen floor of the house because I didn't know how to face him then. And when he came home, he didn't, he said, Kilo is the, why are you downcast? And he said something, he said, God has showed me your journey through life. So I'm not bothered by whatever um, setbacks, Lord John. And even though I was carrying an F9 mass, I didn't know how I was going to navigate. The fact that he did not castigate, he did not, I was free. And that, that has been a, a lesson that that for, for me, him, that as long as I have this person, it doesn't matter what every other person outside is saying. People can say, you are not worth it, you are this, but I can always come back home to meet my father and my mother, and they will accept. And that has carried me through a lot. And um, on behalf of, of my siblings, we like to say thank you, Daddy. We know where you are, and um, we don't know the language they speak there, but from our hearts to yours, we can never be grateful enough for what you've done for us, how you carried us, how you've been with us, how you're a father to us, how you showed us how to live. And um, 
the words can never be enough. We'd like to thank everybody who's come out. We'd like to thank everybody for the support, for the encouragement. And um, before we go, um, for those of us who were in the choir that year, um, rehearsals were on Tuesdays. And after all the prayer and everything, there was a song that he would always sing. She transits into glory, I'm sure he would have sang the last verse of that song that says, something to you, sir, from the hymn that you've just um, raised. There's a refrain in that hymn now that says, Emi koloku iwani kilo niko vidi wamu Now, it says onje orun onje orun ma bomi titi as uh, someone who loves hymn now you know the effect and we are sure that he will be singing in heaven at the moment and that uh, the end of time we'll see and we'll still release more album together in heaven. Amen. Amen. Back to Zoom for tributes. Do we have our Father now special apostle to Allah Rufem Yokeo? Please do your please. I know I'm here. Here. Please go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. Yes, uh, thank you very much. I want to express my uh, uh, gratitude to God Almighty. Okay, while well, we are waiting to have a better network, can we have uh, the younger brother um, 
who is here in person to represent uh, your Kewo's family. You're welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What can I say? Our Father in the Lord is an epitome of Christ Jesus. An embodiment of wisdom. He can operate in any dimension of my existence. I remember one night. We were together, sitting together, listening to the news. And a phone call came through. They said to him, there was a coup in Nigeria. And uh, one of our members, Major Fadikwe, now retired, Major Fadikwe was among those people that were arrested with the coup. And he said to me, Shola, I said, yes, sir. Do you believe in God? I said, I believe, sir. But Abacha. He said, what's wrong with Abacha? I said, Abacha. And we started praying. Before 9 o'clock, we started praying 9 o'clock, 12 midnight. When it got to 3 a.m., I got tired. He continued to pray. Then I knew that there are prayers and there are prayers. There are prayers and there are prayers. So when I woke up in the following morning, he said to me, Shola, you know what? The Lord said, Fadipwe will not be killed. And I said to him, I said, Abacha. Abacha, I said, yes, Abacha. He said, don't worry. What I'm trying to say is, let us remain in Christ Jesus. He will never forsake his people. When you believe in Christ, you can be rest assured that victory is assured. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, sir. You know what got to me? He said, ah, Abaja. <laughs> but who is Abaja before the Lord of hosts? And uh, God indeed proved himself. A faith of veterans. Um, we want to try to connect with our father on the phone. But um, I wouldn't know if that is happening now. Maybe we could have Mrs. Esther Agbola Ni Korode. Please give her tribute very briefly. Because of our time, Mrs. Esther Bolat, media over to you. Zoom, please. So we're waiting for her. Our hymn now says, Oh, come, cole, be more.
Please unmute yourself, ma'am. While we wait, we hear from them. One of our songs says something that fascinates me.
Amen. The second Bible reading for this celebration of the life of an icon is taken from the book of Revelations. Book of Revelation chapter 21. We'll be reading the first seven verses. It reads, I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of the heavens saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. This is the word of the Lord. We've just been told that we can now have Special Apostle Femi Okeowo, who is on the line outside, would give us the last tribute. And after that, we'll now go back to the choir. Thank you. I wouldn't have been able to get out of my master's program in Plymouth. And I said, ah, what 
was not even, you know, I took that as, you know, candidacy as well. And, and, and he said to me, if you go to stand... Dr. Adi Adishino to come and give us the sermon, the word. Well, good evening, everybody. I am so privileged and honored to be the one to deliver a short message during this special occasion. The irony of life is such that 24 years ago, when my father passed away, it was Prophet Corridy who shared the message. The second irony of life is that seven years ago, six years ago, when my father-in-law passed away, he was the one also who shared the word of God. So I find it a great privilege and an honor to do the same this evening. Father, we are just so grateful for your faithfulness. We are so grateful for your word. We are so grateful for the life of an icon such as we have. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. If you listen to 
the last words that were displayed on the screen um, from our late father. I'm going to take it on from there because the legacy is carrying on a message that was delivered. So I'm going to take my reading this evening. If you have your Bibles, it would be from Hebrews chapter 12, and I'm just going to read verses 1 and 2. Therefore, see, therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The book of Hebrews was written to Jewish believers who recently left Judaism for Christianity. Their conversion left them with so great a difficult situation in their life. They were persecuted by their fellow countrymen, and thus many of them were inclined to revert to Judaism. It was a very difficult experience for many of them. So the writer of Hebrew, who is assumed to be Paul, writes to them to encourage them and to strengthen their faith during great times of difficulty. The truth is we all get weak and tired. We get discouraged and sometimes depressed when overwhelmed with the many challenges of life. And many times it affects our faith. We pray less, we give less, and we fellowship less as a sign of a weakened faith. The writer therefore encourages the believer to look beyond into the hall of fame where you will find patriarchs who became witnesses of our common struggles. By listing the names, he singles out those who had every reason to give up their faith, to recant their faith, and to return to the old life. But they never did. In the hall of fame, he says, you will find people just like you who had the greatest struggles of life but overcame by holding on to their day fair. People like Abraham who had to leave everything behind and cling to God, a God he had not previously known or heard of. We want to hold on to our old life and the news simultaneously for the fear of what lies ahead. He speaks about people like Sarah, who conceived at a very late age in life. There is no record of any misuse of herself as a teenage girl. So I'm saying to everybody that we are in the company of great people who had every reason to recant their faith, who had every reason to deny the existence of a true God, but did not. Or is it people like Moses? who esteemed the reproach of Christ greater riches than all the treasures of Egypt. So we are in good faith and we are in good company when things don't work out the way we expect them to be. Or people like Samson who fulfilled his assignment with the cost of his life. Or Jephthah as an outcast still fulfilled his destiny. And many others who fulfill their destiny, but not in the style and comfort of the 21st century Christian. Whatever situation we face is or is ahead of you will never be unique to you. Somebody like you, as is recorded in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, has experienced it. The writer says the believer should run the race that has been set before them. Prophet Corrade has run his race, which was set before him, and he has joined the growing number of overcomers. They have all, through faith, finished their course. We didn't choose the race, and therefore we cannot alter the course of the race. Some assignments are very difficult. Others are easier than ours. Some push us to the edge of the cliff, and like the children who labor 
or parents who have children who cause them great anxiety and great embarrassment, we still have to continue in this faith. If I had the choice or to select the kind of assignment I have in life, I probably would not choose the one that I am running at the moment. But because the race is set for us, we have to run it. However, since we cannot alter the course, we run with it and put aside all unnecessary weights and the sin which can impede or entangle us so easily. To be entangled is to be caught up with something. All unnecessary weight and sin catches us in a twist and will prevent our mobility. Whatever weights or weighs down your heart or your affections on earth should be carefully avoided. For no one with the love of this world in his heart can ever reach the kingdom of heaven. The sin which so easily sets us back can be commonly referred to as the sins of our business or the sins of our tradition, which is our sensual gratification. The sin envelops our body and soul and mind. And these sins we indulge in, in the course of our daily activities, such things as envy, covetousness, exaggeration and the like, Paul calls them the works of the flesh. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Your assignment must be run with endurance, meaning getting through the trial and the difficulties associated with your race without compromising or wavering. Acts 14, 22. Strengthen the souls of the disciple, exhorting them to continue in faith and saying, we through great tribulation enter into the kingdom of heaven. There is no saying that God will deliver us from all our problems. There is no saying that God will deliver us from all the challenges. Therefore, we must run with endurance the race that is set before us. If you work in the care industry, it is not compromising your values despite the challenges associated with your vocation. If as a lawyer or in the finance or in clerical, it is upholding the truth and the integrity no matter the challenges that we have to face. 2 Corinthians 5.10 says, For we believers will be called to give account and we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ so that each one may be repaid for what he has done in the body, whether good or bad. That is, each one will be held responsible for his actions, for his purpose, for his goals, and for his motives. The use or the misuse of time, the opportunities and abilities. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of God. To keep going, we must focus or refocus our attention. Take it off the problem. Take it off the challenge. Take it off the difficulties and place it on the author of life, who is Jesus. The more focused we are on Christ, the more we discover how we are able to endure the cross. He placed his focus on the end and not on the cross. The removal of the cross wasn't his focus, but on the reward of enduring to the very end. Let us change our perspective to the reward and not on the removal of the burdens or the challenges. If while we focus on the reward, the problems are removed, praise God. If not, we endure to the end. The ill health that Prophet Corridy suffered was not removed from his life despite the prayer and the challenge and it did not affect his faith. Nevertheless, he kept the faith and kept running. He was called home to glory at the end of it. Keep running, keep smiling, and keep the faith. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Thank you. 
those were words of inspiration, words that remind us that Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. For those who may not be believers, I wanted to take that to heart to know there's an opportunity for you to give your life to Christ because it's the one thing that you need to do. At this junction, um, we're going to receive an offering on behalf of the family. Um, our ushers are going to go around with a basket whilst the choir will be singing very, very melodiously, very quietly. Um, also, we're going to have the account details on the screen. But a word of caution, the account details on the screen, you can only donate money online until the end of tomorrow. So please, take notes. Anything after Friday night, Lord knows where that might be going to. Okay? So uh, let's just bear that in mind. And the money is to go towards helping the family moving forward. It's not for the church. So we're not collecting money for the church. Choir, let's go for it.
to come and pray for the family. Let's pray. On a Sunday you were born, resurrecting your family. Sunday you answered throughout your days on earth, representing your power within the family. Within 52 days, Nehemiah built the wall and within 52 years, you established a ministry establishing your family. A mystery that no one understands and a mystery that will continue to be. We pray thee at this hour, O Lord, that your resurrection power uphold the family in the name of Jesus. Because the wall of salvation has been built around them. There is nothing any man can do. We pray thee, O Lord, that your power rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Sunday, 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 representing a continuous flow of bread. In this family, Lord, let your bread never cease in the name of Jesus. Sunday, 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 let praise never cease in this family. We pray thee at this hour, Lord, when they need to hear a voice of a father, speak, O Lord. When they need to hear the voice of the prophet, speak unto them, O Lord. I pray thee, O Lord, and I join my faith, O Lord, with your worshiper in here. And I declare that no man shall do you any harm in the name of Jesus. Your going out and your coming in shall be directed by the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace will never depart from you. He was born on the Sunday. He answered Sunday and he died on the Sunday. Meaning he has secured his family. May the divine protection of the Lord continue to abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Um, on behalf of the planning committee for this um, celebration of an icon, we want to say thank you to everyone who has graced this occasion. Our prayers is that God Almighty will grant us all journey messages back to our respective destinations in the name of Jesus. And most abundantly, we pray that on that day, we will not miss heaven in the name of Jesus. Like it's been announced a few minutes ago, just to remind us as well, if you still want to contribute for the planning committee in the UK, those um, bank details displayed, please do us the honor of contribution. And then if you have to do by card, you can go to Eventbrite and do that. The Lord Almighty bless us all in Jesus' name. We still have the condolence register. If you still want to register your condolence, please feel free to do that immediately after this program. Also to announce to us, that there will be a celebration of life for our father also in America. You know, he's a man of 
many children known worldwide by the Spirit of God in him. And that will be coming up on the 3rd of February, 2024. And it has between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. Maryland time, which is going to be 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Um, to 10 p.m. UK time. The Lord Almighty will bless us all in Jesus' name. And finally, the final burial arrangement for our Father will be taking place in Nigeria. On the 6th of February, there will be lying in state in Lagos, Nigeria, the um, national stadium. And then on the 8th and 9th of February, will be the final thing for father in Omaru Kwara state as many of us that are graced to go please let's be there and pay our last respect to a true man of god a true prophet of god who served god all his life tirelessly and one of the words he will always say to me is deji add value to yourself because church of god states for life but the value and what we pass on to is what we are talking about today and i pray that god almighty will grant every one of us that will be making this trip will grant us journey message in the name of jesus but once more we want to say thank you to all our fathers um the speaker of the day thank you pastor Ade. those that set the tribute thank you very much for making this a success god almighty will be with us all in jesus name and then i'll be handing over to and that is for son all the way from america for the vote of thanks Minister Joshua Korode. Thank you very much, all. God bless us all. I want to first of all just thank God for a day like this. I want to glorify God for the opportunity uh, to have people gather in the name of our dad uh, to the glory of God. We do not take it for granted. We know that it is by grace and by favor that we, we are having this support and this help. Big thank you. I will start with everyone who has tuned in online, everyone who has come to the auditorium. I want to thank you on behalf of the family of Corridi. Uh, we, we understand that the timing is a challenge in many ways. Many things have to be done quickly, and yet you were able to set aside time to come and to be part of it, we are, we are deeply grateful. Thank you and God bless you. Uh, we cannot thank you enough. There are those that we have even said thank you to and they've reminded us that, look, you can't thank me. I'm a member of the family. That's one blessing we have as children of SF Corridi. Uh, the family members cannot be contained in a stadium. Mm -hmm. So we end up always realizing, since I was a child, I was told that I should not consider myself the firstborn because there are many senior brothers and sisters and they always remind me at every turn. So I'm used to it. Well, uh, we thank God. I want to thank the organizing committee especially. This challenge, this assignment was not an easy one. The timing was always going to be a problem. Getting everyone together is always a challenge. And I also want to use this opportunity to thank them very much because there were a lot of things that came up that could have caused them to be discouraged or to, to say, can we get this done? I thank God for your lives. Uh, I, don't, I do not need to mention names. We've been talking the whole couple of weeks. No, thank you. We appreciate you. I want to thank everyone, all of our church elders, our pastors, the leaders of our CNS churches and non-CNS uh, churches, our non-denominational churches. Uh, I thank God for you, and I appreciate you. This honor that you have given to the memorial of our Father, God will honor you. I want to thank all our, our mothers and fathers in the Lord who have been supportive of this family from day one, and you have never, you have never let go. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, we appreciate all the love and the support that has been given to us. This committee is, is going to hold a special place in my heart. To the choir, everybody on that stage, I don't know when they told you, I don't know when you practiced, all I know is that you are amazing. Uh, we are grateful. God bless you. Uh, to all our friends and family out there, once again, I say thank you. And I'll be remiss if I did not say to everybody, please, if there's anybody who felt like they should have been uh, contacted or more involved, I understand exactly what you mean. The challenge continues to be that if we reach out to all of SF's children, we will not finish the meeting. <laughs> so thank you for bearing with us. 
and accepting everything in love, which is the true honoring of his legacy. Uh, thank our father uh, for, we thank God for our father's life. There's a lot to be said. A lot has been said, like my brother said, and don't mind him. His grades were never that bad, but that's for another day. On behalf of my mother, Margaret Munisala Horody, SF's high school sweetheart, and the, the, the wife that God gave him to cover him all through his journey. And on behalf of all my siblings, on behalf of our daddies in Omaro, daddy MTS, daddy Shegun in the Lord, on behalf of all our people who are, they can't be on this line, we thank you. I, I, can, I, cannot, I cannot thank you enough. God will bless you, God will honor you, and as the announcements have been made, we'll be carrying on with the other programs as they come. Uh, thank you. God bless. Praise the Lord. I'm here for the closing prayer. Can you please stand on your feet? Before we pray, I just want to take half a second to think how would you end your life on this earth? And when you die, where would you go? Would you have a resting place with the Lord? Or your life as a Christian is it going to be wasted? If you look into what's been said about our father, Prophet Dr. Corrie you'll find the fruit of the spirit in him. Love, peace, joy, happiness, compassion. Where do you stand? Just think about it. The Bible says we are the letter people read. He was a letter we all be reading tonight. How will people, what people would say about you and where would you end your life? May the Lord teach us all right in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Father, Lord, we thank you. We praise your name. We thank you, Lord, for the life of your son, special apostle, senior special apostle, prophet Dr. Korode, whom you've called into glory. We thank you for the life he lived. It was a letter we are reading with Fred today. Father, he's touched many souls. And we've seen the example he led. Father, as we are still living in the world, quicken us to do your will in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, quicken us to learn how to walk with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Because we've seen that he walked with you, he served you faithfully, sincerely. Through your trials and tribulations, he stood firm. Father, Teach us to stand firm in you in Jesus' name. Amen. And as we've seen, we come tonight, O oh Lord, to give honor to your son. Father, increase our faith in you in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, I commit everybody that is listening to the service of today. Father, protect them in Jesus' name. Amen. Let them fulfill the commission the great them in Jesus' name. Amen. And as we shall be going into our house, let our Father go with us. When we shall remember today, let it be for good, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. And we bring the family to you, Father. Uphold them in Jesus' name. You are the comforter. Father, comfort them in Jesus' name. When they need a father, a husband, be there for them in Jesus' name. And for the church of God, be the leader for them, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
Lord be with you and guide us and accept all our requests. We believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so it will be for those who die as Christians. God will bring them to life with Jesus. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Comfort one another with this word. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. We've come to the end of today's celebration. Just but before you run away, before you go, uh, we do have some food for you. Um, we want to thank you once again for those who had to brave the weather, minus one and minus two. Um, thank you for coming again. And those online who did not brave no weather, God bless you too. Um, but if you